Is this really the ultimate home gym? Can this thing really make a cup of coffee? Is this really just an Autobot in disguise? I don't know about those last two things, but guys, this is the Titex T1X. This is my ultimate home gym. I've had this thing for about three months, guys, and I am thrilled to death to share with you my experiences so far, answer some questions for you, and provide you a little bit of a pros and cons list so that hopefully this video can help you decide if the Titex is right for you. Without further ado, let's not waste any time. Let's roll right into it. All right guys, well let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room first. These machines are expensive. That's probably one of the reasons why you're looking at online reviews right now to see is this machine truly worth it. So for me, it was really simple. For me, I wasn't just buying a machine. I was buying a lifestyle and commitment to my health. And yeah, I could have gone and bought a rack. I could have went and bought some dumbbells. I could have bought some cheap equipment, but I didn't. I went and chose this machine because this machine is really everything that I needed. This thing is a complete home gym. It is a gym without any restraints. And for me, it was just really that simple. I wanted to put a stamp on my health and this machine helped me do it. So I hope that addresses the price point because to me it is very simple. I'm, I'm gonna be committed to my health and this is gonna help me get there. Number two guys, let's talk about for a second, uh, Tidex, the company itself. You know, one of the first questions I had about uh, this machine is, wow, it looks great, but who is Tidex and why haven't I heard from them before? So I just wanted to put your mind at ease a little bit. Uh, guys, this company has been around for over 25 years. This machine behind me, the first generation was built back in 1998. So you guys, you are getting literally 25 years of craftsmanship into this uh, machine you see behind me. So rest assured that one, this company has been around for quite some time. Uh, it is based in Poland. And uh, number two, that this company is gonna be around for quite some time. Let's say you buy this machine today and it needs work done, you know, maybe it needs to be fine-tuned a little bit 10 years from now or you need to replace cables or something breaks. This company is gonna be there for you. So rest assured that this is not uh, somebody new that you're wondering about, you know, like I'm about to spend a significant amount of money and I'm not gonna have any support down the road. A Tidex, I believe, will absolutely be there for you. Number three, guys, let's talk about quality. Probably the, one of the most important things for you when looking at this review is, is this machine all that it cracks up to be? Is it a smooth operator? So um, for short, the answer is yes, I do believe it is all that. It is all that it's cracked up to be, but I don't wanna just tell you that. I wanna actually show you. Before I do, I just wanna point out that this thing is all stainless steel, okay? This machine does not rattle. It is one solid piece of equipment, okay? And it's not going anywhere, and you can tell that this machine is going to be around for, for me for quite some time. So just wanted to point that out, but as we're going into quality, let's actually just go and show you some of the things on this machine so you can actually see it work. All right, guys, we're at the front of the machine right here. This is the Smith machine. I'm not gonna spend really any time on the free weight stuff that the, uh, you know, for the Olympic bar for like a screeching halt to this video right now. I got something special for you. I got a Tidex hack that you're not gonna wanna miss. One of the questions I kept getting was, what is the maximum weight you can do for something like a leg press? Well, I'm gonna share with you right now something that's gonna, that's gonna blow your mind. Something that you may not have thought about, but really it's quite simple. Guys, it's these weight posts right here. That's right, these things right here, if you want to add some additional weight onto your exercises, guess what? This thing, these things are movable. So you have this right here, which came from my lower leg exercise. Boom, you just take that out right here, guys, and you can just plug it in right here to the back. Boom, and if that's not a, if the standard leg press exercise is not enough for you, guess what? You just add this on right here and you can add some additional weight. Now, make sure it's secure. I will tell you that right now, safety is a top priority, but this thing is fully locked in place. Put the, put the clip on and boom, you have a whole lot more weight you can add to your leg press exercises. So I would not be concerned about, you know, is this thing gonna be able to support enough weight? Can I, cause I, I can push the limit. So that's awesome. And here's the other thing guys, which is really great. If I can get this thing out. 
Well, I'm gonna leave it in right here, but guess what? You can also add an additional post right here, right there. You can add an additional post, so if you're doing curls, or you're doing tries, or you're doing something else, you can add a, the post right there. And you can just literally double up on the weight. So um, I had to share that with you for this video. This is on the fly, and let's get back to that tight X review video, guys. Bench press or anything like that. I really just wanted to show you guys the smoothness of the Smith machine so that you can get a feel for it and actually hear um, some of the quality as well. So here you go. It's very smooth, guys. You're not hearing anything really rattle around or anything like that. That was the, the biggest thing for me is, you know, is it going to make a lot of noise and does it feel, feel solid? And I think you could hear from that that it was. The second thing is, while we're here at the front, this is the, uh, this is the bench. This is a solid piece of material right here. This is, it's, it slides in and out. This is gonna be, for a lot of your leg exercises. And you can hear right now, this is very smooth as well. So, and it just locks in place right here, and you're good to go. And then it's not going anywhere. All right guys, well we're at the back of the machine right now, and this is the, uh, the fly station, one of my favorite stations. Um, so if you wanted to do this exercise and you wanted to do back, there's these pins up here that are locked in, which you can do back exercises. Or if you want to do your chest, you just pull these pins out right here. You just put them on the floor until you're done. And you switch over and go to chest. And hopefully you can kind of see and feel a little bit of the quality. It's very smooth. You get full extension. And it really just feels, feels like you're at, a, at the gym down the street. You're not feeling like you're at a home, a home gym or a home gym piece of equipment. It's really feels solid. Let's say you're done here and you know you want to uh, maybe do some tricep pull downs on this side. You just disengage this cable right here. It takes about two seconds and you just put in the other cable and then you're good to go. And then all of a sudden you're doing, you're doing some tricep pull downs. Also has some attachments up here so you can do maybe some pull ups on this station as well. It's really, you know, whatever you're trying to accomplish. But I think that's about it on this side. All right, guys. Well, we're right here at the uh, at one of the leg stations right here. So we're getting, you're going to be doing a lot of your leg curls, whether it's for your quads or your hamstrings. And when you're doing your hamstrings and you gotta lay down, you're actually going to be using the bench to elevate it, lock it in place, so that you can lay down and really get a good solid full extension right back here. But I just wanted to show you it is smooth. One of the questions I got was about leg day and what kind of what that looks like. You're gonna be doing a lot of legs here. You're gonna be doing a lot of legs on the bench on the other side, sliding up and back forward with the uh, Smith machine. But just wanted to show you a little bit. It's very smooth, clean. This is your free weight. You're not attached to any cables for this. So just wanted to show you that. All right, guys, so we're the other side opposite of the fly station. Uh, this is where I do a lot of my tricep work. This is a lot of, we're also where I do the bicep work. And also there's the pull-up uh, bar attachments right here. But just to show you real briefly kind of what it would look like if you wanted to go from triceps to biceps, which you would probably be doing these on opposite days. But anyway, if you were doing triceps, you just hook that up right there and you're good to go. Okay, and then if you wanted to switch over to biceps, you just unhook that. You hook this cable to it right here. And boom, you're good to go. So it's really simple, quick and easy process. And as you can hear, these pulleys are really smooth and clean. Really get a full extension workout in. So um, just wanted to show you that. Um, and here's the pull up. Here's the pull up bar. I just wanted to show you guys this briefly. This is how all the attachments work. As you can see, when you insert them into the holes, there's this little drop down nut so that as it inserts, this drops down and it cannot come out. So that's literally how everything attaches. So I just wanted to share that with you briefly. All right guys, well that was a quality tour of the machine. Hopefully you did find that very informational. If you do have any further comments regarding any of that or any of the other stations, uh, make sure to leave a comment down below and I will address that with you as soon as possible. 
But what I wanted to move on off of that was really efficiency of your workouts and your time. I know how valuable your time is and how you want to get in a most efficient workout as possible. So talking about efficiency when it comes to the tight tax and the tight X T1X, what you really want to do is utilize every station as best you can because one of the things I quickly learned is you can wind up spending a lot of your time just trying to set up some of the more complicated exercise. So what I would tell you is when you're planning your workout out, set one up, but also have a plan of what, you're what else you're going to be doing because what you can find yourself doing is trying to do one complicated exercise to the next, and then next thing you know, you spent 30, 45 minutes just spending a lot of time setting, th setting things up, but not actually exercising. So utilize every station that you can, and I try to do at least four different exercises on this machine at once so that I can really utilize it the best and I'm not spending a lot of time going from one thing to the next. The other thing off of that is make sure you get enough weights. I would at least get two full sets if you can afford it or three because one of the things you also do is you're taking weights on and off different areas if you don't have enough. So absolutely consider that. Moving on, well, let's just talk about what comes standard with the Titax T1X, and that's pretty much everything you've seen today. I didn't really get into any of the attachments or any of the other options that I have because I wanted to show you what you can get which is with just the standard purchase. The only thing that you saw in this video that was not part of it was the, the rope pull down. I did buy that off Amazon, but uh, everything else, all your grips, all your cables, all your carabiners, all that stuff that you saw in that Ultimate Home Gym video uh, within standard exercises, all that stuff is included. So you're not going to have to go buy you know, a, a lap pull down bar. You're not gonna have to go buy uh, the close grip pull. You're not gonna have to buy a uh, bicep curl. You're not gonna have to buy any of that stuff. That's all standard. So that's really, that's really great. All right guys, well guess what else this thing can do? We've talked about efficiency. We've talked about quality. One of the things we haven't hit on yet, and I think that's very important when you're thinking about the overall quality of this machine and what it can do is, guys, it can do cardio. I don't know if you've seen in the video, but guys, this thing can do rowing exercises. Yeah, you're not going to need a rowing machine. It can do power running. It can do a, a skiing exercise. There's like five different attachments out there for you guys to get a quality cardio workout in so that you no longer are thinking about getting a treadmill because I personally hate a treadmill. I'm never gonna have one. And I do not need one with the Titex T1X because it allows for cardio options. So take a look at them because I'm telling you, this thing really thing, this this machine does it all. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I, I, like I said, I'm just a customer. Okay, one of the next things I wanted to touch on was that, and I've hinted on it a little bit in the previous uh, part of this video, is that there is a learning curve uh, to this machine. There's so many exercises out there, and very early on I spent uh, a lot of time referencing uh, those videos that I found online on how to do certain exercises and how am I going to set that up, and I was cross-referencing you know, my iPad with this machine to make sure I was doing it right. So I would just tell you that if you're, if you just purchased this machine and waiting on it, spend some time learning how to do and hook up those exercises so that when this machine is ready to go, you're going to hit the ground running. And I would like to off of that say that one of the very exciting things coming out from Tidex is that they're actually developing an application for us to, to better optimize our workouts for efficiency, time, and just have an overall plan in place. They're going to have an application that will be released within the next month. That's very exciting. I'm very uh, energized about that because that's going to give me some preset workouts and some other stuff and some help that I can use to better utilize this machine uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. So I really hope they release that soon. Well, one of the things I considered um, with this machine next was uh, space requirements. Um, and one of the best ways I found to be able to determine if it was going to fit in the space that I had is I literally just take, uh, I took those measurements off of the website and I taped them out onto the floor. And what I found is the T3X wasn't going to fit for me. Definitely because I need to pull my car into this garage every once in a while. So I had to go with the T1X. But take some tape and just tape it out on the floor. I think that's going to be the easiest way for you guys to determine if this machine is going to fit in the space that you have. The second thing I recommend is really think about the attachments 
in terms of space because some of them do take up a good amount of space. And you need to determine, um, are you gonna be willing to move those um, on a daily basis to hook them up and take them off because some of them also, when hooked up, also really limit you to what you can do on the machine while they are hooked up. So really just think about those fully to see if those are going to be part of your day-to-day -day, you know, workout regimen or weekly regimen. Because if they're not, they're just gonna sit there, take up space, and you're not gonna know what to do with them. All right, guys, well, it's time for the lessons learned part of this video, where I just wanted to point out a couple things for you as you're considering this machine. First and foremost, um, like I said before, take the time to learn a machine. This isn't a machine that you come out here and do all those exercises without investing a little bit of time and learning how the pulleys work, how the counterbalance system works, and how to just safely use this machine. So take the time, learn it, you'll be a lot happier today. Your workouts will be more efficient and everybody using it will be a lot happier in the beginning. Uh, the second part of that is really consider the attachments that you want. Uh, they are rather uh, expensive nowadays. I think the baseline is like 300 bucks all the way up to 600 uh, US dollars. So really think about from a price point, do these attachments make sense to me? And, and off of that also, do you have the space for all of the attachments? They are, some of them, like the one you see in the corner over there, I call it for my wife, the butt blaster. I can't remember what attachment it's called, but it does take up space. And there's nothing you can do about that. If you have the space, great for it, but just be thinking about that when it comes to you know all the attachments that you may want to consider because I know when I got this machine, me and my wife were like, oh, we need that one, we need that one, we need that one. And while we don't regret any of those purchases, uh, maybe perhaps we could have waited on some of them just from a space perspective. So just something to keep in mind there. All right guys, well there you have it. This was the Tidex T1X review. Hopefully you did find this video a very informative and informational. And if you do have any comments regarding the content today, please uh, like the video, leave a comment down below. I will uh, try to respond to those comments as soon as I possibly can. And if you would like to see any future videos regarding the Tidex series, which my next video, guys, is on how you can most efficiently use this machine, please hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified immediately uh, when the next upload is going to be. But once again, guys, this is Uncivilized Health. My name is Chris. Can't wait to see you in the next video, guys.